vulnerability that's a uh, that's a thing with IE and even though Intent Explorer is hardly used anymore and most modern browsers aren't affected by this um, it's still the default web browser on a lot of older Windows systems so we have to make sure that we implement this protection in case anyone uses Intent Explorer for our app and the issue that we're trying to tackle is a problem with Intent Explorer where it executes HTML that you download um, in the context of your own site. So this um, website right here actually explains the problem quite a bit. So what happens is um, if a user uploads a file, a HTML file to our website, um, they, they can add a header in that forces the file to be um, downloaded to the, to the machine rather than opened within the browser itself. And what happens is by default in an Internet Explorer, um, as with most browsers, I think when you download a file, you can have an option to open it straight up in the in the um, browser right there. And what happens is when they click on that, that file gets executed within the context of our website. So it's executed on top of our own website. And if this file, for example, had some like JavaScript to grab the cookie information for our website or something and then submit it to the hacker's computer, that would get executed and the cookie data with the session data would get stolen. And this can be used to infiltrate our site. And the way we can prevent that is we can add a header to the um, request or the, sorry, to the response. And the header that we'll add is this thing called X download options, no open. And what this does is it's, to, it's exclusive to Internet Explorer and it basically just disables the ability to open the file straight away like this and they can only open it from their uh, file system so it only gets executed in their machine. And after you implement this um, option for all requests including any malicious files this will be affected for you'll see that there's only an option now to save the document rather than open it directly and cause and execute any harmful scripts. So the scripts can still be executed, but um, it won't have access to our cookies or anything because it will be executed in a completely different context. Um, so yeah, that's what we're trying to prevent. And again, for this project, you need to be using um, Helmet version 2.3.0 for this to pass. And as you can see, that's what's in my package.json. If you don't have Helmet 2.3.0, just open the terminal right here and then run npm um, uninstall Helmet, npm install Helmet at 2.3.0 and then refresh. And then you check that in package.json, um, Helmet is now 2.3.0 and then we can get going. So the way we can set up this header easily for all our requests is that we can mount a middleware called IE no open and then Helmet will add this header in for us. So what we want to do is in myapp.js, again we want to mount this for all the routes because we don't know what under what route um, the, this kind of HTML file might be uploaded by hackers. So we want to make sure that we do this for all routes. So what we want to do here is say app.use and we can say helmet.ie no open like this and then no one the open use capitals and if you go ahead and save that and I'm just gonna type and in refresh into the terminal just to make sure um the app gets restarted in glitch and um that's everything you really need to do here so you can just copy the live app link and then submit it and you'll see that the tests have passed and if we look in here um you might not actually see it in Chrome because it's specific to IE, but in IE, there will be a header in the response telling it not to open it. And then IE will make sure that they're only given the ability to save it rather than run the HTML file in the context of your site. So yeah, that's everything you need to do there. So you can go ahead and submit that.